Hello! Today, thanks to the Ukrainian retailer Era in Ear, I have uh, an opportunity to show you and tell about pretty fresh model, it's Bowers and Wilkins PX8. Premium Bluetooth headphones made of premium materials, uh, leather, steel and so on. Uh, supporting uh, SBC, AAC and APTX, offering 30 hours of work using 40mm carbon fiber diaphragm driver. If I understand these captions, because there is no English version of this uh, caption on the side of the box. And it's European version uh, and your <laughs> English is not the main language now in the European Union. But anyway, it's not uh, the topic of today's discussion. That's all I need to say in the introduction, but I'd like to make some uh, some step back into my own history. If you're not interested in that, just skip to the next part using timestamps. Uh, my uh, acquaintance with uh, Bowers and Wilkins uh, was actually pretty negative. It was in 2011, if I remember right during my first visit uh, to the uh, to the Los Angeles uh, and I was reviewing headphones for about two years then I, I, I didn't do English reviews at that time, I started doing that later but uh, of course I knew about Bowers and Wilkins but unfortunately local distributors uh, didn't want to bring them and actually no, that times it was pretty hard times for portable audio because we didn't have that uh, bunch of uh, Chinese brands, we didn't have good sounding portable players and uh, actually headphones and earphones were super limited. But still, of course, I wanted to test, uh, uh, if I remember right, uh, their flagship model was P5, no, no not Bluetooth, just wired model. And uh, by that time they were sold in uh, Apple stores. and. Apple haven't bought uh, Beats at that time and uh, didn't start their own headphones line, so they offered some premium models uh, in their stores. And of course uh, Bowers and Wilkins was one of the top recommendations uh, by all means, because they definitely delivering premium experience in terms of materials and so on. So it was the top uh, suiting to Apple style headphones at that time. And of course, I went to Apple Store in Santa Monica. It was like my no, one of my my number one place to visit there, and uh, uh, and they had that they have that uh, had that Bauer and Wilkins uh, on the stands, really stylish stainless steel stands, everything in uh, Apple Store, minimalistic and uh, so on. And each one with iPod Touch, and uh, I started. Of course, I grabbed uh, P5, started listening, and I was kind of disappointed because uh, P5 was like overly warm and uh, pretty muddy sounding uh, headphones. I still don't know was it their real tuning, or it was because of uh, iPod Touch, or was it uh, just uh, bad impression in the shop uh, by it. But I spent like 15 minutes trying to figure out, and since then I didn't test anything by Bowers and Wilkins. But today I've got this interesting model to uh, examine and tell you everything. So, as you can see, box is white, uh, and for a viewer it's really bad thing because for me it's hard to make stylish photos on this white background. I need to use some other background to make a uh, box shot. And, but we know, of course, which company uses white uh, packaging. And under that sleeve, we're getting white cardboard box. I don't know why, they, why many companies adding this thing here. I really don't uh, expect uh, premium headphones be hanging on the on the wall of the store but maybe I miss something about that uh, so nice white cardboard unboxing experience uh, reminding uh, airpods max a bit but actually it ends here because here you're getting good full-size case and some papers here I won't unpack them because I need to return the loaner unit so it would be a good idea to touch as few things as possible 
and we getting full size case out of the box and it's a really good thing i really hope apple will take it into the account you know i'm still surprised that apple haven't released some full size case for the airpods max and ask for them like ask for that case 70 or 90 dollars and some uh, headphone hanger uh, with uh, magnets to power them off also for hundred dollars but anyway inside we getting headphones themselves actually even out of the box they looks great and the uh, two cables basically uh, one is usb type-c to usb type-c for charging or to connect them via digital connection and second one usb type-c to 3.5 millimeter to connect it to the audio slot as you can see unboxing experience is pretty good and all accessory set are useful and uh, you're just getting what you need in terms of design of course they're reaching maximum premium level almost everything is made of metal or covered with some leather actually you can see that they offer nice soft uh, uh, head pad but actually you know i'd say that uh, clamping force is a bit uh, too much maybe i need to extend them even further but still i feel a bit over pressure and uh, this also accompanies by pretty compact uh, ear pads so my ears are barely fitting here and actually tends to overwarm uh, pretty fast because they are almost closed and there is not much space for my ear around my ear in this uh, cup but with uh, some pauses during listening to add uh, to let my ears chill of course i enjoy wearing them uh, but still sometimes thinking about making them a bit bigger i really like this uh, size adjustment system really soft and nicely holding the size you just put them on and then pull until they fit on your ears that yoke's design of course uh, another really great touch like they can be rotated flat and they can rest on your uh, on your chest and actually what is really good you can rotate it uh, two ways of course they are not uh, foldable inside but anyway you can rotate them flat and uh, let hang on your neck and you can turn them speakers down which is a really good thing in this case you can see that uh, there are a lot of microphones some for noise cancelling some for your voice and so on and another thing that i really like is that they actually use uh, plain old button control buttons are great they have nice click they are easy to find and this gives you a really nice uh, premium level and moreover you get in, you staying in control so uh, sensor controls are great of course but i really like uh, sense of touching these uh, letters on th that are actually probably machined or i don't know how this is produced but uh, really interesting polished uh, uh, metal and actually this uh, buttons extrude from this surface and they have their own inner texture so really well done in this aspect so buttons are just best way to control them so here is one button you can reprogram with the uh, uh, companion app it can be used to control voice assistant or it can be used uh, for to change the transparency and noise cancelling mode this is uh, on off button and if you slide it up for for a few seconds it will uh, turn them into pairing mode and three universal buttons for volume tracks navigation and stuff and you can see they even uh, added uh, some uh, notches to these buttons so you can easily find it even without looking here is usb type c for charging and to connect audio so in general they are lightweight uh, a bit overheating but uh, pretty okay in terms of wearing comfort especially if you have smaller ears outer ears than mine it will be nice and inside you can see that uh, they used angled uh, positioning of speakers to build a better stage 
and deliver sound right to your ears. They are holding connection really, really well, so zero issues uh, for me here. And uh, in terms of, uh, at least in my tests, because it depends like on the level of electromagnetic noise outside uh, and uh, different uh, Bluetooth devices and so on. And of course it depends on your source, for me it holds connection really well. And uh, as for active noise cancelling, I'd say it about on par with uh, Apple AirPods Max. So really good, but uh, Sony still does it better. But uh, more about comparisons will be later. And transparency mode is also a good working thing, but actually not on the level of AirPods Max, because actually Apple transparency solution sounds the best to my ears. In general, design is super attractive, they look uh, cool, they have uh, that level of ergonomics that is good for everyday usage. Uh, there were one issue with that uh, sensor that uh, pause music when you take them off. And it was uh, super sensitive, but uh, they and, and this sensor worked even when they were just on your head, but they adjusted in the recent firmware update, so in this aspect it uh, also became better. And uh, also, I must admit, really good uh, signals that these headphones use for the connection, disconnection and other stuff. Nice uh, music samples that are not annoying or too... Uh, or too loud or something like that. So here is their companion app, looks pretty nice. What I didn't like is that uh, this application forced me to create uh, Bauer and Wilkins account uh, and register. I don't like such uh, things when company forced me to do. Uh, on the main screen you can select noise cancellation, pass through and transparency and you can select to which device it should connect. Also it shows battery status. For additional controls you can go to the settings page, here you can select aut automatic standby, should they, actually let's scroll to the top, so first uh, is uh, uh, headphones uh, image, then battery status, environment control, three options traditional, no extra settings to noise cancellation or pass through, you can select treble and bass, no equalizer, but at least uh, basic settings. Here you can manage connections and add device or remove here. Then you can select what to do with this quick action button uh, on the left cup. You can select environment control or voice assistant. Also you can select automatic standby, wearing sensor you can turn it on and off. And you can select its sensitivity, so it, it was added based on the previous feedback and it was retuned. Also here you can change the streaming quality, I will show a bit later what uh, is it for. You can rename it and do the factory reset. So here you can uh, see the main settings page, headphones, you can add additional product, up update uh, software, then account you've created and you can link a few, few uh, streaming services to use just limited set i'm i don't know why you you will want to play it uh, through this application but uh, you can so they call it like uh, all your music in one place but let's be honest uh, just desert tune in soundcloud and nts is not enough to be called this way but anyway application allows you to tweak uh, uh, basic settings and change some settings in a fast way here is a traditional microphone test. I am recording this part of the video using uh, these headphones uh, and microphones are located in the real position. I won't apply here gain correction or equalization, so it will give you an idea of how their microphones sound. And of course about the sound, Bowers and Wilkins continue their uh, type of tuning. <laughs> Actually I haven't heard models since P5. But this one is also a bit on the warmer side of things, even with default settings of bass. They are adding a noticeable amount of weight to the low frequencies and punch, and makes accent on this uh, part of region. 
And uh, they, of course, uh, care about deeper layers of base. They use some software construction. Actually, you know, I'm sure here because I tried this uh, regular 3.5 millimeter connection and it sounds uh, like pretty average. So not, uh, they don't have the signature that they show connected via USB Type-C or via Bluetooth. So pr probably noticeable amount of uh, digital signal processing is added here. And uh, one of the main efforts of that processing is to reconstruct deep bass and deliver it to you with really uh, noticeable punch and uh, weight at the same time. They're not uh, focused on the small nuances of bass, but in general, natural instrument sounds uh, pretty okay. But at the same time, because of Lowe's accent, uh, some of really bassy instruments will be moved a bit forward. Uh, and uh, of course, mo first of all, they are oriented for the music where dominating low frequencies are important, like pop music, uh, some types of some genres of electronic music, and stuff like that sounds really good. Actually, basic amount of bass is a bit uh, uh, too much for me, but I am not a fan of uh, really accented low frequencies. And if you're feeling bass head, you can add more low frequencies using their equalizer. But for many tracks, I actually uh, reduced bass and slightly boosted treble area. For example, with uh, uh, Nehinch that I often use in my reviews, they relax dub, they have noticeable bass line because it's still dub, jazzy version of dub, but anyway. And with these uh, headphones, I found that this bass line is uh, over uh, saturated and over present for me. But let's get one of the most classical examples, Mindfields by the Prodigy, bass, lot of bass, different type of bass, heavy hitting bass, uh, lightly hitting bass and so on. So definitely these headphones deliver noticeable amount of uh, crush and rumble and so on. Well, at least to my taste, you know, maybe there are uh, such fans of bass that for them it won't be that much. And at the same time, mid frequencies are also pretty okay heard. Uh, of course, they are shadowing a bit with uh, bass, but uh, still uh, uh, not that much that it could be. Probably thanks to their uh, carbon uh, diaphragm that allows to show good utilization on mid frequencies. Actually, I don't know. In some reviews, they were called like natural and resolving, maybe. I'm doing something wrong here, I'm not sure, but for me they are definitely bass boosted. Mid frequencies are uh, detailed, but of course not much, uh, be mainly because of uh, lossy codex, but also because they are not trying to make accent on the small nuances and details. There is a hint of added weight uh, on the mid frequencies, but you know, not too much comparing to the low frequencies, and because of that... Uh, Headphones doesn't go to totally warm and dark signature like it was in my past. Nice resolution, really good with uh, not uh, super demanding genres of music, uh, pretty forgiving for the quality of record, uh, which is also pretty nice for many cases, I think. In general, like, uh, you know, normal, but nothing to write home about. Imaginary stage is like uh, slightly below average in width and in depth, uh, first because it's Bluetooth, second because they are warm and warmer headphones build a more intimate stage for me, but at least it's present and not doesn't sound like it often uh, be became in some uh, inferior Bluetooth headphones where all instruments and all stuff are just in one center place. Uh, so, and example here would be uh, American Gods Season 1 soundtrack, I Put a Spell on You by Brian uh, Ritzel and Mark uh, Lanigan, I hope. Really interesting version, really fun, but actually uh, with these headphones uh, there is one slight problem, uh, I like after 30 seconds or so, appeared nice uh, powerful bass and drum, and actually they start uh, to pull their attention towards low frequencies, 
uh, it's pretty enjoyable if you like bass, but uh, I pref it's exactly that case where I preferred to uh, turn uh, low frequencies down a bit with equalizer and boost treble slightly. In terms of the treble, it's uh, really okay for the full-size Bluetooth headphones. Uh, uh, compared, of course, to some wired models of this price range, it will be a huge difference, but for the Bluetooth they are almost on par with other models, uh, so uh, slightly above average extension, normal attacks and decays, but of course uh, lacking of layering, lacking of uh, rich overtone saturation, but basic overtones are represented nicely. There is a slight boost in the lower treble area uh, to compensate bass, but at the same time this boost uh, doesn't go too far, so uh, higher treble sounds a bit rolled off. And uh, actually sometimes it's uh, just uh, making things a bit uh, more uh, engaging. But uh, they're still not targeted towards audiophiliac audience anyway. And uh, here is uh, the example, it's Led Zeppelin, Kashmir, they have a lot of percussions here, they have guitars that goes to the treble area, but uh, uh, it sound here is shifted from that uh, bit airy sound of uh, Led Zeppelin, they shifted towards the lower parts of the spectrum, so you get like really foundational version of Kashmir, like you're sitting somewhere close to the drum kit or something like that. But in general, if you like warmer and comfortable sound signature, of course, you will receive it uh, and made on a really good level. And of course about the comparisons, unfortunately I haven't heard a lot of uh, models that considered uh, competitors of this one, starting with uh, Mark Levinson and ending with some Bluetooth headphones re released by Focal. So only model uh, that I can compare in terms of premium build it's uh, Apple AirPods Max. And uh, uh, for me AirPods Max sounds uh, more balanced first of all because of uh, less accent to the low frequencies, but actually for a lot of people um, uh, additional worms can be a benefit. And uh, in terms of features, this one supports aptX uh, codec, but uh, on the iP uh, iPhone it won't be a big uh, changer, and on the Android phones it really depends, you know, on the tuning of their AAC codecs, because uh, well-tuned AAC uh, sounds uh, pretty good. But uh, in Android world, it's really often uh, to skip the fine tuning of AAC codec and use some really basic implementation, so results could be noticeably worse. Also, uh, interesting situation here in terms of price, because in the United States this costs $700 and uh, AirPods Max uh, costs $470, so difference is uh, pretty huge. And uh, AirPods offers uh, some additional features integrating uh, into Apple ecosystem. But in the Europe actually difference is not that big. This model costs uh, 700 euros and uh, AirPods about 600 or 40 or depending on countries. So uh, difference is less noticeable. Uh, so this model is a bit uh, more stylish looking to me, but at the same time AirPods are more comfortable because of bigger ear pads and their ear pads are more air, uh, like more breathable to ears with less overheating effect. In terms of uh, noise cancellation, they are about on par, but uh, transparency with AirPods is slightly uh, better to me. And another feature actually that I really like recently is that uh, special audio with AirPods. Uh, I really like it with Apple Music, uh, Dolby Records. Uh, it uh, gives a pretty good effect even uh, for the I'm, when, even when I'm trying to, into critical listening. So if you haven't uh, tried that, uh, definitely recommend you. And uh, speaking about more affordable models like Sony or Sennheiser. Actually, here you 
paying first of all for the premium build quality because neither Sony or new version of Sennheiser Momentum 4 are even close to these uh, headphones. But at the same time Sony will give you a better noise cancellation while uh, actually offering also sound with accent on the low frequencies a little bit but with more detailed mid frequencies and more developed treble. And Sennheisers actually, in my opinion, are one of the most balanced uh, Bluetooth headphones in terms of sound. Uh, but actually a lot of people doesn't agree here, maybe it's just uh, taste based anyway. So, if you're looking for something really premium and if you want full size headphones, of course uh, PX8 could be a great uh, choice for you. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention and have a great day.